Hello everyone, so I am coming to you today with a video, as you can see in the title, Marcus Simeon has just found a new agent, Scott Borez, one of the toughest agents to, to, to negotiate with, as we all know, um, Hunjin Ryu is with Scott Borez, um, and he, Scott Borez made it very hard to negotiate with, and now Marcus Simeon is going to do the same thing to us, he's going to make it really hard to negotiate a new contract, because keep in mind he is coming off of an amazing season, he had... Um, a 7.1 war, which is amazing. I mean, it's the MVP level. He's a superstar right now. I think it's even Hall of Fame level, maybe. Um, but he also had an OPS plus of uh, of 133. He had 45 home runs, 102 RBI. Um, he bat um, um, 265. So he had a we had a really good season. He could win the MVP. Um, him, Vladdy, or Shohei. Probably be Shohei because the MLB is biased towards American teams. But, um, Mark Simeon right now, it looks like he's not coming back because I'm going to guess he's going to try to ask for a lot of money. And the Blue Jays, they don't have a lot of money for the future. <clears throat> because keep in mind, they still have to pay Bo Bichette and Vladdy in the future. That's going to be a lot of money they're going to have to put down on those two because they're going to ask for a lot. So you got to save up that it really worries me so put down in the comments below how you think the blue jays should should handle it uh, actually uh so i i think how it's looking i think that the blue jays are probably only going to sign um robbie ray probably is the better of the two uh well makes the most sense because signing simeon for as much as boris will ask for is going to be crazy so I don't know how they're going to do it. I hope that they get Simeon for a good amount. If, but if if it's not a good number, obviously they shouldn't do it. But put down below in the comments what, what, you, what you think they should do. Love you guys. Bye.